your name, young man? My name's Cord. Say that again. Cord. Cord. What's your last name? Clement. Okay. Lower there, God. Stretch your hands toward heaven, Cord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your obedience. The Lord says this. Thank you for your obedience. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Brother, I see you uh, got promotions coming to you in a, in a great way by the Spirit. And the Lord says there's some things that I'm going to supernaturally do with you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring you forward. Brother, you've been through a whole lot in a short time. You ain't that old. But the Lord says you're going to help out with testimony. You know, if, if people can't hardly testify. <laughs> you know they've been through something, but the Lord says what you've been through, you will surely testify the goodness of God. Amen. The Lord says, son, I'm going to use you in a mighty way in the days ahead because of your own fire. And that's what I delight in. I delight in radical worship. And son, you give me what you have. You give me all of you. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to delight to use you. I see you working with the youth. Hallelujah. And the Lord says there's good, uh, uh, I'm going to call it rap, bebop type music that glorifies the Lord. And the son, the Lord says, son, you, you, you need to you see other people that are not in tune and not with it. And the Lord says, you need to be a motivation to them. Just know that you're called a leader among the young people, says God. You're called to lead the young. And to help assist those that need assisting, says the Lord. And the Lord says, uh, you've made yourself available. And the Lord says, I'm going to make myself available to you. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to bless you. I, I see you. I, 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 I see the. I see It's almost like you've been put out. I, I see you not even. I see you come out of your home and, and a situation where it's like, wow. And you just moved on. And the Lord says, son. That's all right. It says, I'll take care of you. I've got a place for you. I'll equip you. I'll keep you. And the Lord says, son, now that you've been, man, you've been through a lot. And the Lord says, son, even the places that you've been and, 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 and how you've gotten into trouble, the Lord says, son, you've come to the place now to where you know it's the house of God is where you need to be. Not the big house, but the house of God. And the Lord says, son, as you're here, you've sought me. And the Lord says, I've sought for one such as you. Others, have, it's almost like they, some they didn't give up on you. They just could not. Right? They couldn't take care of you. But the Lord says they didn't give up on you. They didn't give up on you. They, 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 they may have appeared to be, but some that was not their heart at all. They just did not know what to do. They just didn't know how to handle this. And I, I see you. I, I see you like a, like a, you just got out of control. Soft about you just got out of control, and, and uh, the Lord says, "Son, but now you're in control." And the Lord says, "Son, it's it's uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing about oh two years, eighteen months, two years." And the Lord says, "Son, you 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 give you give it another eight months," says the Lord. And the Lord says, "Son, they'll look upon you and they'll admire you, and they'll be ashamed." And the Lord says, "Don't allow their shame to hinder the relationship. Never be." Never be arrogant, never be haughty. But the Lord says, Son, I'm going to restore a relationship. I, I see, I, I see, uh, Lord help me today. I see all, I see immediate family restoration. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I see a distant relative that has strong accusations against you. The Lord says, Son, I, I'm going to change their heart. I'm going to change their mind. I see you. You got a brother? Okay, I, I see some restoration. I see, you know, they're, they're kind of observing and watching and. You know, when they're into their own things, and I, and I literally see you helping. I, I see there's a direction where you, you, you can eventually help. With the love and compassion of your heart, you can help your brother. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And the day will come to where you're going to teach sound doctrine. You'll teach sound doctrine, says the Lord. Glory to God. And you're going to talk to those young ones that don't have stable families and stable homes, and you're going to encourage them. I see you're going to have a I see you having like a boys meeting. You're getting the, the young boys, young men together. And I see you help share your testimony. Glory to God. And you're, you're going to tell them about it's important to share your testimony. Because it's the testimony that you share that gives you the strength for the next victory. Yeah. So son, I want to encourage you. Do all that you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting footsteps to your faith. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to bless you. 
Do you work? Okay. God's got a job for this young man. Hallelujah. In fact, I'm gonna say this. God's got a. Uh, I'm gonna say God's got a home for him. Listen to what I'm saying. The home that God has for you. You may not live there, but God says you guys got a home for you, and where you're to be, they've got work for you. They'll feed you, they'll take care of you, you work on their farm or whatever it is. God says he's got a work for you. Glory to God. Somebody is going to take you in, says the Lord, and they're going to see to it that what the enemy meant for harm, God says I'm going to restore everything that you said in the Lord. I wouldn't mind to do it. I wouldn't mind to do it. 